Good morning, y'all. Laureen Silverman here with Silver Lining. Hope you guys are getting ready to start start your day. I was just sitting here thinking about when I had a breathalyzer on my car. And I know that if you're an alcoholic like me, you are probably familiar with a breathalyzer. I can remember all the things that I would do to try to beat the breathalyzer. I would count down how many drinks I could have and what time I needed to cut those drinks off so the next morning I can blow in the breathalyzer and it would blow clean. One time, y'all, I was working um, house setting gig and I knew I had, I had overdone it. And I knew that the next day I wouldn't be able to blow into the breathalyzer and it, you know, would let my car start. So what I decided to do was I called my son and I told him, you know what, I need you to come over and help me. I don't know what's wrong with this car, but it won't start. Can, can you come over and help? So he gets out of bed, he comes over and he opens a hood and I said, well, why don't you try inside? Maybe if you blow in the breathalyzer for me, maybe that's the problem. And you know, all the lies, y'all. <laughs> all the lies and all the manipulation that I would do when I was drugging and drinking. And my son looks at me and he says, if there's nothing wrong with your car, mom, you just been drinking and you know the car wouldn't start, so you called me, got me out of bed, called me over here so I can blow into your car. And, you know, guys, when I think about that now, the things that I would do just so that I can get my drink or my drugs on and how much I hurt the people that really loved me. And I love them, too. But when it came to alcohol and drugs, all that went out the window, y'all. All I thought about was drinking and drugging and when I was going to get my next fix or whatever it was. So the reason I'm bringing up the breathalyzer, because I know that a lot of people deal with that. And I know that we try to figure out ways to beat it. I'm let, let me let you know right now, it takes more work and more time to try to beat that than it, is, than it does just for you to do the right thing. Just, you know, as much as possible, just, just don't drink. If you know you got it on your car and you know that it's going to cause you a problem, just try to do the right thing, y'all. And I know that it's easier for me to say it because I don't have one on my car, but I've been there and I can share my experience with you. And if nobody tells you guys today, heard from us here at Silver Lining. We love you. You guys have an amazing day. Bye. And I'll talk to you soon.